we say we've become used, certainly in the Commonwealth Games and in the, the Olympic Games recently, on UK soil to seeing morning sessions full in stadiums, but it's, it's not always thus. So it's a quiet morning in terms of the crowd, but a very good morning of athletics. This is the lineup for the first heat of the of the 100 meters in the decathlon. So these are the slowest men in terms of 100 meter times this season. Ashley Bryant does get stronger as the event goes on. But again, to put things in perspective, the Commonwealth Games, he had such success there, Steve back there on Sunday, but European decathlon is, is stronger than Commonwealth decathlon. It, it, it is, Andrew, but this is an opportunity for Ashley Bryant. You know, he had a bumpy ride in those Commonwealth Games. It wasn't a clean performance in terms of the high jump, the uh, long jump, the hurdles, he hit every hurdle. And he wants to go off to a good start here, the 100 metres he wants to, he's never run below 11 seconds, it's our first chance to see how quick this much talked about track surface is. And uh, should he go be below 11 seconds and get off to a better start than he did at the Commonwealth Games, then who knows? And Niels Pitonvils from Belgium, we caught a glimpse there in the lane inside of Attila Zivorski, the Hungarian, 37, 37 years old and still competing in decathlons. So former world bronze medalist but Ashley Bryant as uh, Steve was saying personal best just outside 11 seconds he has done a handheld and a uh, slightly above the legal wind limit under 11 seconds so just look for the times good conditions for sprinting pretty much flat calm Klavchenko and Gilkera in a way very well Ashley Bryant trying to keep pace at the moment but as expected uh, Gilkera and uh, alongside Ashley Bryant Marcus Nielsen going well but uh, on the far inside Andreas Raya of Estonia comes through and uh, 11 1 2 so not quite as quick as Ashley Bryant would have been hoping for there the winner coming through in 11 1 2 so Ashley Bryant slightly down and a little bit disappointing perhaps yeah not the start we would have hoped for for Ashley Bryant you know he ran 11-1 in Glasgow two weeks ago. Just looked to be maybe overstriding here. Just look at him in lane five there. Overstriding towards the end here, almost bounding along. And outside of, what, 11-3, 11-4, expected to come up for Bryant. Not quite enough for the start he would have hoped to possibly get amongst the medals. He's going to have to do a lifetime best to get amongst the medals here. There's no doubt about that. And uh, he needs performances beyond his lifetime best, and that's not one of them. Well, Gil Keran has been rounded down to 11.11. His winning time, Ashley Bryant, will confirm his time as soon as we get it. Now, he won of the 100 metres in the decathlon, and you see uh, Ashley Bryant down there in 11.24. Gil Keran taking it to 11.11, the two quicker heats to come. So after that uh, slightly disappointing first event for Ashley Bryant. He'll be watching what happens in the rest of these 100 meter races. The second one lines up like this. St. Nicholas of Netherlands is in lane one. Van der Platzen of Belgium is in two. Kevin Meyer of France is in three. Lukas of Czech Republic in four. Skrenjov of Russia is in five. Rosenquist Sweden in six. St. Nicholas gets a good start over on the far side. Maya going well as well in lane three. And it's uh, pretty close between the rest. Skorenyov, the Russian there, finishing very quickly on this side is Hulchelep. But it's St. Nicholas who wins it from Skorenyov. And the time, it was still in the headwind. The first heat was minus 1.1. That was a little less, minus 0.9. But a good first event for St. Nicholas. 10.91 on the clock. We'll get the official time for that shortly. That's a good first event for him. And uh, we talk, you, I heard you mention the track, Steve. There's a lot of talk coming here that they said this track was going to be very, very fast. Uh, obviously, into a, into a little bit of a breeze, that doesn't help. What do you reckon? Well, it's hard to tell, as you say, the, uh, the headwind possibly cancelling that out. Uh, the, the talk of it being 10% more efficient in terms of energy transfer, all to do with the coefficient of restitution, of course I'm, I'm to believe. You can tell us all about that later, Steve. But uh, it's certainly the uh, Kevin Meyer of France there. In what second place, looking very good. He's fancied as one of the contenders for gold here. So result of that second heat, St. Nicholas with a season's best 10.9. He is a 10.7 man, but uh, that's his best so far this year. Skrenyov, decent start for him. And Kevin Meyer, the Frenchman, just outside his personal best. So good start to his campaign. They were the top three in heat two. So to the final heat, the third heat of the 100 metres in the decathlon. These are the, the quickest athletes and uh, feature a couple of the major medal contenders. Rico Freimuth goes in lane three, very strong German as well, and Kai Kazmirek. 
You see the spirit of Russia in their contender as well. So 13 of the 100 meters in the decathlon. Set. First of all, start of the European Championships. Slightly different in the multi-sport events, though, with the uh, false start rule. Yeah, give them one chance to make that false start. And uh, I think we'll tell who was at fault there, possibly Abel in what lane five. But just look at their reaction times. It might, might have been, uh, been Freimut. His, his reaction time is 0 0.021, which is uh, certainly frowned upon. Anything below 0 0.1. Let's have a look there. Well, there's, a, there's a twitch, first of all, from uh, Freimut. Certainly a factor here, Andrew, that the two Germans have been drawn side by well, side. I think that will really help them in terms of getting a decent time in here at the start of this decathlon. And with the, uh, you know, the European leader, Kazmarek, possibly being dragged along by the pre... Well, the favourite, certainly, for this final heat in Freemuth, his compatriot. It's, uh, it's a perfect situation for the European leader. Set. And away cleanly, and uh, Freimuth out well, but uh, Kazmarek going nicely, but Freimuth should start to pull away now in lane three, and he's uh, dragging his uh, German teammate, Kazmarek, with him. And just tying up a little bit, Kazmanek, but 10.72, a little bit down on his uh, season's best by three tenths of a second or so. But uh, Freimut doing what, uh, well, the very least that he would have expected there. Just eventually picking up and coming through to win it, but uh, again, not near his season's best, but I'm sure he'll be fairly happy with the way he's got out there. Yeah, I think the most significant performance there was Kai Kazmarek, the guy in second place there. Looking very strong indeed, very close to his best. Well, they just confirm it has been given as a personal best for uh, Kai Kazmirek alongside Rico Freimut. You mentioned Rico Freimut has managed 10 4 in his time, the uh, best in this, in this discipline in the European uh, rankings is still Daly Thompson 10 2 6. Uh, way back when, but uh, Rico Freim at a 10-4-0 runner, but here not quite uh, up to that calibre, but uh, Kazmirek running very well alongside his compatriot, Arthur Rebelli, the other German as well, is quick. I think they finish as a 1-2-3, but uh, Freim at, well, he's uh, often running at least into a fairly strong wind as well there. But uh, there we are, Rico Freimut, 1071. Kazmirek with that personal best, which is what you're looking for in the decathlon, target your personal best and and move on. One, two, three for the Germans.